Some research came out in the early 90s that was just phenomenal. It came from the University of Minnesota, and it came out from Carol Gilligan again at Harvard. And it was about girls and resilience. And it looked at how do you keep girls strong and healthy during a time when boys are growing into strength and girls are growing into a body that's about gender and sex and beauty. So we had two years at the Miss Foundation for Women, where I'd been for about a decade, that we, we decided we wanted to change that. Wouldn't that change a lot? And we were looking for ways and experimenting with things that I would call outtakes <laughs> for how we would get Americans to actually do something with not necessarily their daughter, but the daughters of this country that would give them that caring adult or thoughtful adult and introduce them in a way that they would see that their world was not just going to be about their bodies and their gender. And uh, Take Our Daughters came from two years of experimentation. It came out of programs that didn't work, and uh, we got to a, a woman named Nell Marlino, who was wonderful and a consultant, and came in and was watching, actually, a, I think a, a daughter that went to work with one of the co political commentators. And we all said, what would happen if actually girls went to work? And it started with people took their daughters, like he had. And... Um, the rest is history. It was a phenomenal program before social media. There were like seven women in a fax machine running that whole program. The beautiful thing was the people in the press actually made it happen. We thought it was just going to be a program in New York City. But when people around the, the country at first heard about it and had something to do about their daughters, they wrote us in absolute droves. They called us day and night. It was an amazing thing. And it taught me how often we put a problem out in the world, but don't give people anything to do about it. Because if they have one thing they can do, they'll do it. <laughs>